Today I'm going to be installing and reviewing the short shifter available from only944.com. The parts here are sold separately, so there's the short shifter, the shift linkage arm, and they have a tiny 11 millimeter wrench to lock down the bolt on the transaxle. It's kind of a tight access back there. I've also got a slow leak at the shift rod, so I'm going to be replacing the shift rod seal. I have a back plate paper gasket and a small detent seal. Get everything cleaned up back there. One of the product benefits for the short shifter lists a 30% reduction in movement forward to back and side to side in the shift lever. So in addition to evaluating the feel of the shifter, I thought it might be interesting to take some measurements before and after and see how that compares. One of the final steps in the insulation process involves holding the shift lever in a fixed position while the final nut and bolt is tightened down on the transaxle. And I've seen some people have a little bit of trial and error in getting that aligned correctly. So before I removed everything, I went ahead and took some scrap wood in about 20 minutes of time and created a jig that can be placed on the shift lever in an attempt to align everything back to factory position. Before removing the factory shifter, I went ahead and replaced these two seals first so that I wouldn't be fighting the full pressure of the spring on the shift rod. And I'm really glad that I did because as you can see, the seals are in pretty rough shape. There was a bunch of grease and dirt all caked in there. And it was a little tedious to get up there, but I was able to get it done. The first thing you want to do is remove the detent nut. It's a 17 millimeter cap nut under which is a spring and a hollow metal pin. It's a little bit difficult to access. I found it easier to come over from the left side and the nut sits behind the connection point for the linkage arm. With the detent safely removed, you can pull the three 10 millimeter bolts on the cover plate and reinstall everything in the reverse order with the new seals. Here's where the shifter and linkage arm connect to the left side of the transaxle. I've already removed the 17 millimeter bolt on the other side, so all that remains is the 10 millimeter bolt going into the shift rod and this 13 millimeter bolt. We'll have to remove the safety wire first and I have some new 16 gauge wire to replace it with. I was able to remove the shift rod seal using the drill and screw method and the new seal was installed with a 17 millimeter deep socket and extension. Just tapped it in with a rubber mallet. There is a backing to this recess so there's no risk of over inserting the seal. And now that all the seals have been replaced, it's time to install the new shifter. Here's a look at the two parts side by side. You can see the factory shifter features a couple of pivot joints stacked on top of each other. And I suspect that some of the play is coming from this linkage, whereas the new one has a heim joint and some ball joints on the linkage, which should eliminate some of that excess movement in the shift handle. As far as some initial impressions, I can immediately tell that the throw distance is reduced. Uh, the movement feels really good. It also feels more accurate, just a little bit notchier. There's just a little bit more resistance getting it into each gear over the factory shift lever. But as a result, I can feel a bit more of what's happening inside the transmission. It feels a lot more connected. So I think it's time to take the car out and get the gear oil warmed up and see how it feels.
Here's a quick look at the measurements taken before and after installation of the short shifter. Overall forward to back shift lever throw distance was reduced by one inch, which resulted in a 21.1% reduction. These measurements were taken from the upper rear point of the shift knob. The side to side shift lever throw distances were reduced as well, in this case by three quarters of an inch, which resulted in a 22.2% reduction in movement. These measurements were taken from the left center point of the shift knob. Perhaps most notable was the reduction in loose play in the shift lever, a total of 3 8 inches, which was a percent reduction of 50%. And this makes the shifter feel a lot tighter overall. Overall, I've found this product to be well constructed, the materials are solid, there's a good weight to them, and the movement is clean. It doesn't appear that any corners were cut in the manufacturing process. Product support is ample with both instructions and visual aids available on the only944.com website. And when I've contacted support in the past, they've been both responsive and helpful. The short shifter provides a nice improvement to the driving experience and reduces a lot of the unwanted play in the shift lever. And because of how its design connects you a bit closer to the car, I find it preferable over the factory option. The price point is competitive given the high quality of the product, and it's a lot cheaper than replacing the factory shifter. It also bests the price of similar competing products on the market. On the other side, I found the shift lever throw distance reductions to be closer to 22% rather than the stated 30%. There may be some variances in the way that those measurements were achieved over the methods that I used, but because I wasn't able to fully validate that claim, I have that as a question mark. That said, a one inch reduction in movement forward to back is more than sufficient and quite noticeable. 944 values have been increasing over the past couple years and typically unmodified examples command the best prices. So while this modification is pretty easily reversed, if you are planning to sell your car, that may be something to consider. The final point here is less about the product itself and more about the work location. It's pretty cramped and dirty back there by the transaxle, so given the opportunity, you may want to pressure wash the case or degrease it a little bit uh, just to make things easier. So in all, I would recommend this product, especially if you're looking to tighten things up and reduce some of that unwanted play in the shift lever. And best of all, it allowed me to perform some needed maintenance on the shift rod seals.